Hello students, welcome to Digital Learning DCE. Myself Dr. Manjula. In this session, let us study about Introduction to Genetic Engineering and Steps Involved in Recombinant DNA Technology. Let us begin with the Introduction to Genetic Engineering. Genetic Engineering is a branch of biology that deals with manipulation of genetic material by using multiple engineering techniques. It involves direct or artificial manipulation of one or more genes where a foreign gene is inserted into an organism's genome to get a desired phenotype. Example, golden rice is the product of genetic engineering. Genetic engineering process uses recombinant DNA, hence it is also called as RDNA technology or recombinant DNA technology, where a recombinant DNA molecule is produced by joining together two or more DNA segments isolated from different organisms. Let us study the steps involved in recombinant DNA technology. First and foremost step is extraction of plasmids from a bacterial cell, which is followed by isolation of genetic material or DNA from an organism of our interest. Third step is cutting this DNA of plasmid as well as DNA of our interest at specific locations by using certain enzymes called restriction enzymes which are otherwise known as molecular scissors. After the third step that is cutting of the DNA segment is followed by the ligation process. It is nothing but joining of DNA fragment of desired sequence along with a plasmid molecule to form a special type of hybrid DNA called recombinant DNA or RDNA. In the next step, this recombinant DNA is inserted into the host cell to form a transformed bacterial cell. This transformed bacterial cell then allowed to grow inside a medium. The last step in the genetic engineering is selection and screening of transformed cell with a desired character. In this slide, we can see the steps involved in genetic engineering. In the left hand side, we can observe a bacterial cell with a circular DNA molecule called plasmid, whereas in the right, right hand side, we have a cell with a nucleus containing chromosome and DNA molecule. In the first step of genetic engineering, we have to isolate the plasmid from the bacterial cell. At the same time, we need to isolate the DNA from the, the cell of, of our interest. Then in the second step, we need to cut the circular DNA molecule with a desired sequence with the help of a special enzymes called restriction endonucleases. Then the cut is also made in the DNA of our interest and the DNA of our interest is going to be inserted into the plasmid to form an hybrid DNA called recombinant DNA or RDNA. This recombinant DNA molecule is again going to introduce into the new bacterial cell. Then this bacteria is called transformed bacteria. When this bacteria allowed to multiply, it produces number of copies of bacteria containing the gene of our interest so that for example if we introduce the gene which is used to clean the environment then the bacteria multiplied in large number and this bacterial culture is going to introduce into the area where the environment has to be clean. In the same way if the gene of our interest uh, or recombinant DNA, if it is going to be introduced into the plant, we can observe uh, there is a rise of the plants with disease resistant character or drought resistant character. Let us study the applications of genetic engineering. Genetic engineering has number of useful applications in the field of scientific research, agriculture as well as in technology. In the field of agriculture, genetic engineering technology is used by scientists to enhance or modify the characteristics of an individual plant. For example, with the help of genetic engineering technique, we can produce the plants with higher nutrition value. 
disease resistance as well as drought resistant plants. As we all know, insulin is the best example of genetic engineering product which is extensively used by diabetic patients in today. Human growth hormone, alpha interferon, hepatitis B vaccine and other medically useful substances are also produced through genetic engineering. Some genetic diseases can be corrected by replacing the dysfunctional gene with the help of genetic engineering. In this slide, we can see the steps involved in genetic engineering during the production of insulin. This is a bacterial cell containing a circular double-stranded DNA molecule. This plasmid is extracted in the first step of genetic engineering and a cut is made in the double-stranded plasmid molecule with the help of a restriction enzymes which are otherwise known as molecular scissors. Then the gene which will code for insulin is going to be introduced into the plasmid molecule which act as a carrier. Then after the insertion of the gene, this plasmid is otherwise known as recombinant DNA. This recombinant DNA is going to be introduced into the new bacterial cell so that this bacterium is called as a transformed bacterium. And since the bacterium containing a gene coding for insulin, when it multiplies along with that, the gene code for insulin, it produces insulin. And in the large scale production of insulin, this transformed bacterial cell is inoculated into a large fermentation vessel where the bacteria multiplied in larger number and releases the insulin into the media. Then the insulin is purified with various steps and it is further packed for commercial applications. To sum up the session, genetic engineering is a branch of biology that deals with manipulation of genetic material by using multiple engineering techniques. The recombinant DNA molecule is produced by joining together two or more DNA segments which are isolated from different organisms. It is used by scientists to enhance or modify the characteristics of an individual organism, which has number of usual applications including scientific research, agriculture and technology. Recombinant DNA technology or genetic engineering includes the following important steps like isolation of genetic material, cutting of DNA at specific site, DNA ligation followed by insertion of the DNA into the host cell and selection and screening of transformed cells. For further details about this topic, you can refer the following references. With this, I am going to conclude the session. Thank you.